I went out of my, to recreation, handcuffed, ankle shackles and handcuffed to a table that you supposed to feel safe going out there to them tables. And me and three other inmates, we go out there to them tables. Remind you, we playing spades. I was like, wow, this can't be happening. You get what I'm saying? So I got up and the other inmates got up, but we trying to get out our cuffs. We trying to get out. Now our heart goes out to, to the victims in this case. Yes, um, Mr. Rinky's in prison for, for life, um, but these, these inmates, uh, these gentlemen that were there, regardless of whatever reason they were in prison, they have a, a right to be protected. I have uh, no basis to believe this was a setup. They didn't want me to come home, and they didn't want me to shine a light onto that institution. Do we know if this person was held in a restrictive unit, like solitary? It was taking them so long to get there. If they are in general population, it would be great to know if this is routine. My, my gut instinct or my, or my hunch you know, uh, uh, you know, would say that, you know, um, that the correction officer failed to do their job that day. And as a result, you know, this, this incident could have been completely preventable. 